Okay, um, this is my updated version of my own adaption of the rhubarb crumble. So I've got, I've got two and a half pounds of rhubarb from the garden, washed and chopped, two and a half pounds of apples, cooking apples, nice big apples. They're going to be peeled and cooked, and I'll show you those in a few minutes' time. I've got a tin of um, prunes. You can use cherries. Any tin fruits would be lovely. Uh, and pineapple, you have to have pineapple in this. This absolutely makes it so delicious. And make sure you have a, a good variety of pineapple. I'll show you how much brown sugar to use in a minute. You're going to have some maple syrup or golden syrup. Some cinnamon. Some ginger. And some apple, um, some crumble mix. Um, if you can make your crumble mix, good luck. But I like to be quick and easy, so I've got four packets here to make a nice thick crumble, my rhubarb um, crumble, and we shall get started. Okay, this is a rhubarb from the garden. I'm going to wash it. Before you do, you go above the the um, light colour and just chop it, and then do the other end. Wash it to get all the earth out of it. And then you cut it between um, three to four inches in length, like I've done so. And then I'll come back to you and show you the next stage. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, this, the juice out of the tin fruits to cook the rhubarb in. So you pour it in, that's the prune juice that's going in, and the pineapple juice going in. So you use less sugar because um, the fruit juice has got sugar in it. Right, and bring that to the boil. Okay, the apples um, have been washed and chopped. Keep it in large pieces because you want to like a little bit of bite. And a tiny bit of your syrup on the top. I can get it in there. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit and a tad of water, just a little bit of water. A um, couple of, I don't know how much was it, a couple of tablespoons of water. Whack it in the microwave. Full power. Oh, by the way, you have to put this in a larger bowl because the apple will come, it'll swell up to the top. So make sure it's a larger bowl, a very large bowl. Right, pop it in the microwave, put it in full back, and I'll sh come back to you in a couple minutes when that's done. Okay, the rhubarb's cooked because it's nice and soft. Don't get it too squashed. You leave a few bits um, whole like that. See, look, that's all nice and soft. Now we have to strain it. Careful. Mine is very hot, so be careful. That's straight. Put it in a colander, and um, you just take the colander off with a wooden spoon or something like that. Just strain it like that. Just keep stirring it every now and again. And the juice, you save the juice and drink it because it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Okay. The apples are cooked. Um, see, that's all cooked ready. That's ready to go into the um, rhubarb. Right. What we'll do? And you stir it halfway yeah, through. Just, yeah. Stir it halfway through like you would with any cooking. What we'll do, we'll add a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon in that. Just about a teaspoon of cinnamon, not too much. And some ginger, another teaspoon. And some brown sugar. About one, two, three. About four tablespoons of sugar. Give that a mix. Mix it. Oh, by the way, you have to take the seeds out of the um, prune, the dates. No, prunes, sorry, not dates, prunes. You, or you can buy the, um, the ones without the seeds. Okay, what we'll do, put this in the baking tray. Pour that in. Pour the apples. That's in. Right. Spread it about. Nice big tray. Not too big. And then we add the pineapple and prunes. Half your pineapples. Or oh, making fours. The little kitties can scrape that out if you've got children. Right. Spread the pineapple so when you cut it, everybody's got a bit of pineapple. So people like corners, so make sure you have a bit in the corner there, a bit in the corner. Some in the middle. Pineapples and rhubarb is absolutely scrumptious. Okay, that's that. Now what we do? This is the rhubarb. The rhubarb is drained. That is the juice out of the rhubarb, which we will drink. 
you can sweeten to taste. Up to rhubarb in. In there. Spread that about. Spread it. Like that. See, it's not too rhubarby, so you've got to mix up different foods. And then you've got your syrup, or your maple syrup, or your treacle. Well, no, treacle would be too sweet. Syrup, and then you just um, put quite a bit in, because it's not very sweet. You're about to put a bit of it in. Top there. And that's lovely. And then we put the crumble on the top. Put the crumble on the top, nice and thick. I might use three packets on this because we like a thick bit of crumble. That's one packet. This is all I've had. I want to come back to you. Okay, it's time to take the rhubarb crumble out. Um, 184, 20 minutes, and then 220, blast it to give it to the um, crunchiness you require. And that's it. Wow.